Yeah, you do that again. I said, as always, it did not fit. <laughs> Sorry, just to do it one more time. Just saying words. I said, as always, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Music City Light, what's up family? It's your girl, Adley Stump, and today I have such a treat for you. If any of you guys are fans of The Bachelorette, you know this guy, James McCoy Taylor. He's got some incredible stuff going on, and he's going to tell you all about it. What's up guys? So I told you I had a treat for you. If you watch The Bachelorette, you already know who this is. James McCoy Taylor. What's up, baby? I'm doing great. I'm with you and I'm drinking Music City Light. So it's a yeah. pretty good day in the 7 neighborhood. 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Welcome to Nashville. <laughs> Welcome to Nashville. <laughs> well, I don't even know where to start with where you. Where do you tell, want to start? Uh, tell, tell everybody, because I feel like they'd want to know some of the behind the scenes stuff of The Bachelorette, because that's really where your story to the public starts. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, my buddy signed me up. Didn't even tell me. Really? Uh, didn't even tell me. His <laughs> name's Marcus, and uh, yeah, he he's the best looking dude I've ever met. No, nothing weird, yeah. but he's just a great looking guy. And every time we'd go out, he'd always get all the girls. Yeah. And so I was like, why am I friends with this guy? You know, I, yeah. he's a horrible guy to be friends <laughs> right? with. And so he'd take all the girls, and one day he felt bad and was like, man, I just signed you up for the Bachelorette last night. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I just put in like half your stuff. I didn't fill it out. You need to go fill it out. Well, it was 30 minutes after he told me that, that they called and said, hey, is this James Taylor? And I was like, yes. And I was like, this is ABC. I thought I forgot to pay my um, LA fitness bill, like from California. <laughs> so fitness. I just happened to answer. Yeah, I answered. And yeah, from there, it all just kind of took off. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, next thing you know, I'm, you know, falling in love on national television and getting heartbroken. And I'm so sorry. You know, I gave you all. I know I you did. Um, it's all real, by the way. I don't have to say, I mean, I'm supposed to say that, but I, I would not say that if it wasn't real. Yeah. I'm a pretty honest person, but it, yeah, it really was. It's kind of crazy when there's only one person out there. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have anything to compare to. It's really the way it should be, you know? Like, yeah. She was the best kisser. She was the one that made me laugh. Mm -hmm. The prettiest, the smartest, the most fun, the most beautiful. It was it was actually a really easy scenario to fall in love. Yeah. Um, and you fall in love with the guys. Like, those yeah. guys are my boys. A lot of them are here. James F., Wells, mm -hmm. you know, um, a lot of Luke. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of, and, and we're all, like, best friends now. It's just so weird. My, my best friends are in Nashville, which is strange. I, that may be one of the reasons I moved here, yeah. you know? Yeah, Those are my boys. Because you haven't been here long. Like, yeah. I, met, I met him a couple days ago, yeah. and he's just getting so settled in. We're in the Broadstone. Sixth over. day in Nashville. Day six. So we're breaking him in, right? Break, we're getting him early. <laughs> breaking him in, right? Cheers. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. did you know because you're a singer songwriter? Did you know that you had to make the move to Nashville? Oh yeah, no yeah. question. I mean, mm -hmm. I just uh, when I was talking with Wells and Luke, I was hearing the kind of people they meet, and I was yeah. just like, I was living in Atlanta. And I loved Atlanta. Yeah. But the connections weren't there. You yeah. know, I mean, you had to really search for somebody. You know, who knew what to do? And I'm new to this. You know, I'm new yeah. to music. I love music. I've been, you know, busting my butt with it for a long time and, and, and also enjoying it and having fun and wanting to share it. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know how. And yeah. no one I was around knew how. So that didn't yeah. help me at all. Yeah. Talking to Luke and Wells are so far ahead of me as, as far as the actually getting it out there and production mm -hmm. side of it. Um, it was it was just cool. I was like, man, I got to be there. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. It's like I'm trying to go, you know, catch a... A tuna and I'm in a river, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to the sea. I need to go. This is the sea. This yeah. Tuna sea. There's something right. very real to be said about being present to win. Like we're, the events that we're going to this week, the events that are in town next week, everybody is here. The decision makers are here. The people that you put a little team together, everybody's here. Yeah. And so some people can kind of come in and come out um, and make trips, but there's nothing really like being, being here. here, being yeah. present, being around the best songwriters and letting that influence infiltrate your life and your oh, creativity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I agree. And even just like my first day in Nashville, I moved in or, you know, half moved in. I was dead tired. And a buddy said, hey, come out to this little house party. Happened to be, you know, probably two of the top 30 writers in Nashville were there. Yeah. And then some other really good writers as well. Mm -hmm. And they're just passing the guitar around the fire. It made me so happy. I was yeah. like, this is why I moved here. And they were yes. so good. And honestly, it made me realize that, hey, you know, co-writing is huge here. And that, mm -hmm. for me, I was always like, oh, I got this. I can do it. Well, yeah. you kind of can't that well. Um, it's, it's really tough. Mm -hmm. And so seeing them and hearing them, I'm like, man, I have like maybe two songs that are on that level. Right, right. And I've written like a thousand songs. You know what I mean? Like, so it was like, holy crap. My first experience was like, you, you got to you gotta work. You got work to do. Yeah. And I'm ready for that. I'm excited about it. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot to come. But you are already jumping on a tour. You and Luke mm -hmm. uh, Pell from the show, you guys are going on tour. 
uh, nine cities in like 14 days or something like that. It's going to be, yeah, it's That's really action packed. Awesome. Can't wait for that. Well, cool, baby. It's good to see you. You too. Let's go drink some beer and make some music. Sounds like a great day to me. Let's go. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.